as you can see the port is now connected to the mobile and this port can be in any place in the world and this mobile can be on the other side and they can both be connected as long as there is a 3G connection and uh, a, a Wi-Fi between these two mobiles and this mobile has internet connection using either 3G Hi. or Wi-Fi. In this video we will use uh, Android as a telemetry for uh, the Ardu board. We connect uh, as we know uh, Android con uh, consists of at least two mobiles. One of them is drone mode mobile that should be mounted on uh, a quadcopter. Sure I use this just as a simple that it should be mounted on a quadcopter or uh, a plane. Uh, the other one is the ground station uh, the ground station and drive because and drive is interconnected system we can have multiple uh, drones and multiple ground stations in in our sample here in our video here we will connect uh, the and drive drone mode to Arduino board via uh, a USB okay we know that uh, the com both mobiles here has the same group name here the same group name which is main group by default and have different unit IDs this is uh, mandatory in order to be able to uh, see each other in order to communicate with each other they need to have the same group and uh, here we validated access code we first to server. connect to Connected. We first connect to server in drone mode. We go to flight control. We, we we can use Bluetooth module or USB module. In our video here, we will use the USB module. We select the board rate. USB connected. Here I am connected. Sometimes it asks for confirmation, and I need to confirm and retry the USB connection again. Okay, uh, now this mobile, the drone mobile is ready. Now we can go to uh, the ground station mobile. We connect as well. Validated access code. Okay, connected it is connected. connected. We go to flight control port. Here we can see it is a, a socket, uh, a listener socket uh, telemetry because it is a ground station. So we can use a uh, Mobile, uh, other applications such as uh, Droid Planner in order to connect to uh, in order to connect to uh, the APM board and this is happens and this happens through connecting the uh, Droid Planner to ground station uh, mobile using socket TCP connection and then the connection here is not uh, a Wi-Fi it's just a uh, the both connected to a server on internet using Wi-Fi or using 3G or using 4G. That's why they can communicate to each other uh, in, in any place in the world. You have unlimited range telemetry because this, once it is connected using 3G to a Android.com uh, Android server and this connect to Android.com server, uh, they can communicate to each other from any two places. It's, it's important here to mention that this mobile in the real case should should be connected using 3G or 4G, which is Android already capable to connect. Uh, in this mobile here, we need a listener socket. So listener socket cannot, uh, cannot be used via 3G. We need this mobile to have either a Wi-Fi connection to internet and uh, that's how we can get an IP and use this Droid, mobile, uh, droid uh, Planner to connect it to this mobile or we can use a 3G because in the field we have these mobiles, both mobiles will have 3G and we can use uh, in this situation a uh, network Wi-Fi tethering to connect this mobile to the ground station. 
So in the field, this mobile will have 3G connection. This mobile will have 3G connection with Wi-Fi tethering enabled. So we can get an IP and use uh, use the Droid Planner to connect uh, to the ground station. Droid Planner here. We need to go to settings and make sure that we have a TCP connection enabled and we have uh, the right uh, IP server and port which is this IP and port now we need to activate the telemetry by selecting telemetry on uh, actually we can read from multiple uh, drones so we will select this drone which is this uh, port now we will connect disconnect Okay. As we can see, the port is now connected to the mobile. And this port can be in any place in the world, and this mobile can be on the other side, and they can both be connected as long as there is a 3G connection and uh, a, a Wi Fi between these two mobiles, and this mobile has internet connection using either 3G or Wi-Fi. Uh, please remember that we can still SP ground station added. We, we can still access a uh, remote shooting here. As you can see the mobile itself has an IMU and send data to the other mobile. We can still take photos, as you can see. And uh, in the meantime, the telemetry is still working. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you can uh, download and drive and try it.